Today, two prototypes of the IL-114-300 aircraft equipped with domestic UEC TV-7117 ST-01 engines took to the skies. One of them has already logged more than 280 hours in the air, with this flight marking its milestone 100th takeoff. The second aircraft is a new IL-114-300 prototype that has just joined the flight test program. This aircraft consists exclusively of domestically produced systems and equipment. The third prototype flight lasted 30 minutes, during which stability, controllability, and the reliability of all systems and equipment were tested. According to the crew commander, the mission was completed in full and the engines performed flawlessly. The aircraft, developed by PJSC IL, consists exclusively of domestic systems and equipment and is being created in cooperation with leading Russian developers and manufacturers. The two prototype aircraft took to the skies simultaneously. The newly built aircraft was piloted by a crew from PJSC IL, consisting of commander and test pilot Alexei Gazdiev, hero of Russia, and test pilot Mikhail Kondratenko, and flight test engineer Maxim Bellin. During its maiden flight, stability and controllability were assessed, along with the reliability of all systems and equipment, most of which are supplied by enterprises of the Rostec State Corporation. The first flight of the newly built aircraft lasted 30 minutes. The aircraft performed a paired pass over the runway at an altitude of 100 meters as per the test plan. Following the flight, the crew commander reported that the task was completed in full and there were no issues with the equipment's operation. Today, we successfully launched another IL-114-300 prototype into the sky. This achievement is due not only to the team at PJSC IL and the manufacturing plant, but also to the broad cooperation ensuring the development and supply of components. The second prototype is currently conducting daily flights as part of additional certification tests. The addition of another aircraft will allow us to complete the required volume of tests and certify the aircraft on schedule. The delivery of serial production aircraft to operators will begin next year, strictly in accordance with contractual obligations, said PJSC IL Managing Director Daniil Brennerman, commenting on the flight. The regional aircraft is being developed on the instructions of the President of Russia to enhance the country's transportation connectivity. The modernization and resumed serial production program of the IL-114-300 is being implemented with the support of the Russian Ministry of Industry and Trade. The IL-114-300 consists of Russian-made components and systems and is equipped with domestically produced TV-71117ST-01 engines from ODK Klimov. The power plant was certified in December 2022 and surpasses foreign analogs in technical characteristics. It provides increased power during takeoff and features the new AV112114 propeller, which delivers four tons of thrust. The new IL114300 regional aircraft has improved flight and technical characteristics, increased use of composite materials, and a new digital flight navigation system. Almost all key systems have been upgraded, with special attention given to enhancing cockpit ergonomics. The IL-114-300 is a regional passenger aircraft with a maximum capacity of 68 seats. It is designed to replace the AN-24, ATR-42 and 72, Bombardier Q-300 and CRJ-100 and 200 on local routes. The IL-114-300 can operate independently from relatively small airfields with both paved and unpaved runways. It is also intended for use in Arctic regions. The latest IL-114-300 prototype took to the skies on the birthday of the renowned aircraft designer Sergei Ilyushin, under whose leadership dozens of military and civilian aircraft were developed for the country. Among them was the legendary IL-14 passenger aircraft, which reliably served domestic air routes for many years. Coincidentally, 20th of March was the anniversary of the first flight of the IL-114 turboprop aircraft. On the morning of March 17, 1990, the aircraft was transported from the hangar to the airfield. Engine trials and systems testing were conducted on March 20th and 21th, and preparations were made for the initial taxiing. The aircraft's preparedness was assessed at the Presidium of the Methodological Council of the MAP on March 22nd and the initial taxiing was executed on March 23rd. 
the flight was authorized by the Methodological Council on March 26. Several runs were conducted on March 28, and the aircraft was prepared for departure the following day. Now, do you think the IL-114 will succeed this time? Let us know in the comments. Please like and share our videos and subscribe to our channel. Please also take membership in our channel to encourage us.